Hi, my name is Krishna Prasad. I'm the Associate Dean for Law and also the Director International in the School of Business and Law. Students from around the world uh, choose the courses in our school, uh, both in business and law, because of the fact that we provide them with up-to-date, industry-relevant and employability-skilled courses, which are high in demand, which do make those students competitive in the world. We offer a wide variety of courses, both in the undergraduate and in the postgraduate uh, space. Our courses are popular uh, in the Bachelor of Commerce, where we offer over 12 different majors. We have a wide variety of uh, specializations in our MBA programs. Uh, we have some unique specialization, which we offer in conjunction with other schools within the university and also within our school. Some of our very highly popular specialized uh, courses in the undergraduate are in accounting, uh, in marketing. Uh, we have a specialized uh, uh, major in law and business. Uh, students can also take double degrees as part of their undergraduate uh, courses. They can take a wide variety of majors and minors. In the postgraduate space, uh, in the MBA, we have a wide variety of um, specializations uh, like the uh, standard ones we have, the marketing, the uh, accounting um, and uh, event management. But we also have in the uh, specialization, we also have unique ones like cyber security. Uh, we are starting a new one called health management. Uh, so there are a wide variety of uh, specializations in our MBA programs. In addition, we have dedicated master's programs like the master's in uh, tourism or international hospitality management, master's in marketing and innovation management. We have the very popular master's in professional accounting where students, once they complete those courses, which are accredited by the accrediting authorities, do lead to accredited uh, qualifications. For example, if they do their master's in professional accounting, they graduate out with that qualification, then they meet all the academic requirements of getting themselves registered as a chartered professional accountant with CPA or one of the other accounting bodies. Our courses are all taught in very high-tech uh, laboratories or high-tech uh, spaces. Uh, we have the uh, smart lab we, where the students actually learn some of the latest financial data management softwares in real time like the Bloomberg software. They do have uh, access to our digital hub where they do learn on virtual reality and social media uh, channels. They have a, a facility access to the latest moot court where students are given real life uh, experience in, in an actual court training. Um, all these have led to the courses in uh, School of Business and Law being highly rated across the country. In 2018, the uh, quality indicators for learning and te uh, teaching, what's called as a quilt uh, rating uh, for 2018, uh, School of Business and Law courses were rated the top in the country. Of the 37 public universities that do offer business and management courses, SBL was ranked top in four categories student experience, uh, teaching quality, uh, staff uh, uh, skill development, and student uh, support. In the uh, law and paralegal uh, studies, they were ranked top of the 36 universities that offer uh, law and paralegal studies in educational experience and teaching quality. We also offer our students in the undergraduate uh, studies a will component where that's called as a work integrated learning component where the students have access to uh, take up work experience as part of their studies in postgraduate courses we offer in some of our postgraduate courses the students the same uh, opportunity we also have uh, a specialization called professional internship if the students want to take up that as a career we also offer that even in our master's specialization and students are also given an opportunity to take part in international uh, competitions, international tours, and uh, internship opportunities both within Australia and overseas. Our law program at SPL uh, is the first 
online accredited uh, law program. So students have the option of studying our law both on campus or online. It makes no difference in their experience. They are given access to the same materials, same lectures and same real time access to tutorials and uh, blackboard discussions. So the students don't have any uh, differentiation in their experience as whether they are online or on campus and they have the flexibility of moving from the online to the on campus and vice versa. So that has given our law program an edge compared to a lot of the other uh, law programs. We are the only accredited law online program in WA and a handful across Australia. My name is Caroline Fafius and I'm a senior lecturer at Edith Cowan University within the School of Nursing and Midwifery. I have been employed at Edith Cowan University for 12 years and have seen many graduates go through the system both at undergraduate and postgraduate level. Within the School of Nursing and Midwifery we have over 2,000 undergraduate student nurses working towards registration. The, this equates to around 3,000 uh, part-time nurses, as many do choose a part-time route. Within the 2,000 full-time equivalents that we have, most are undergraduate, but some are postgraduate. We graduate around 600 nurses per year, and we retain about 90% of our students that start with us. Our students rank us in the top 10 nationally for quality and educational experience, teaching quality, teaching resources, student support and skills uh, development. 10% of our students are international. Our research programmes include improving health and wellbeing across the lifespan and quality and safety in healthcare. We collaborate with world-class researchers, industry leaders and clinical experts in the areas of chronic disease management, child and family health, workforce and health services. Why would you choose nursing at ECU? We have many facilities within our uh, building that offer world-class uh, practical application of nursing within a simulated environment. We're very proud of these facilities and students do definitely benefit from coming to ECU. Our students also have the opportunity to gain work experience during their course and this could be in hospital, aged care facilities, clinics and even some overseas placements as we offer approximately 10 international practicums in the final year of the course. Our partners include both public and private hospitals throughout the metropolitan region, as well as rural and remote areas where nurses can achieve some real specialist nursing practice within these communities. School of Nursing and Midwifery also boasts world-class facilities enhancing student learning. We offer a mentoring programme for new students starting at ECU, where students are twinned with either an academic mentor or a peer mentor. These supportive programmes that we offer can assist students to transition into university life more easily. We also offer a Ready, Set, Go programme which enables the student to understand exactly what's required for them from the word go. This programme assists them with academic writing as well as understanding the requirements of the course from day one. The courses that we uh, offer in undergraduate that lead to registration is our Bachelor of Science Nursing. This is a three-year full-time course that can be done part-time, but the three-year full-time course enables the students to undertake 24 units of study over three years. This includes five practicum units where it's solely dedicated to students working within a clinical area and working within the labs to learn clinical skills. The other course that leads to registration is the Masters by Nursing Graduate Entry, where students have already got a first degree and this is a two-year full-time Masters programme. The students do need a science background for this, but there is a one discrete unit that can be done prior to commencing the Masters by the Masters um, graduate entry course. International students can also um, complete 
postgraduate qualifications from a suite of postgraduate courses that we offer at ECU. The School of Nursing and Midwifery offer postgraduate courses for nurses and these can be studied at certificate, diploma or master's level. We also have PhD programmes. The PhD programmes are a choice of um, a three-year PhD programme or a four-year uh, integrated PhD programme where the units of study can be done in home country before coming to ECU. The master's programmes that are offered within the School of Nursing and Midwifery include Masters of Nursing course, the Masters of Nursing of Education, Masters of Nursing uh, Midwifery research and Masters uh, by Research in Nursing. We also offer a graduate diploma in mental health. The certificate level courses that are offered within the School of Nursing and Midwifery include a graduate certificate in mental health, a graduate certificate in child and young persons nursing, a graduate certificate in patient safety and clinical risk, and a new one, a graduate certificate in ageing. The School of Nursing and Midwifery is the largest nursing school in WA. Our research is recognised as well above average, having achieved the maximum ranking of five in the Excellence in Research for Nursing assessment. Our field-weighted citation impact is twice the world average for nursing and just over average for midwifery. We undertake high quality research with real world impact. Within the School of Nursing and Midwifery, our demonstration wards and simulation suites prepare students for clinical practicums. We provide a simulated environment in which staff can demonstrate and assess while students practice their skills in the labs. For entry into the Bachelor of Science Nursing course, candidates must achieve an English language test equivalent to IELTS of 6.5 with no band less than 6.5. For the Master of Nursing graduate entry, candidates must achieve an English language test or IELTS equivalent of 7, no band less than 7. My name is Dr. Ganesh Kothpalli. I'm the Director International uh, for the School of Engineering. And the um, School of Engineering offers uh, a variety of um, engineering disciplines. Um, we have the, all the standard engineering programs uh, that are four years um, duration, such as Bachelor of Engineering with Civil Engineering Honours, Bachelor of Engineering Mechanical Honours, Electrical and uh, so many other uh, areas of engineering, including chemical. And very recently, we also introduced uh, petroleum engineering. Um, other than the Bachelor of Engineering Honors programs, we also have um, uh, programs that um, lead to a master's program. Uh, this is what is known as three plus two model. Uh, those who want to complete a master's degree, uh, need not study a four-year honors course and then follow it up with two years of um, master's degree. We have a, a three-year Bachelor of Engineering Science uh, which prepares students uh, for a Master of Engineering. During the Bachelor of Engineering Science, the students are given very broad-based education uh, they study uh, all the fundamentals uh, leading to uh, a specialization and they undertake the specialization such as civil, mechanical, electrical, electronics, computer systems or instrumentation or chemical or petroleum and so on. Uh, we have um, 16 major uh, engineering disciplines and the and student can complete a master's degree by studying a full five-year program. That is three years of bachelor's plus two years of master's. What makes our courses uh, unique? We give the students an opportunity to study engineering as a multidisciplinary uh, program. We do not segregate them into various um, specializations. 
uh, first year is common for all the engineering programs and if they are studying related courses such as mechanical and mechatronics uh, most of the subjects that they study in the second year are also common this makes a student um, select a discipline either at the end of first year because first year is common or in some cases at the end of second year where the first two years are common between two courses. Our courses are all accredited by Engineers Australia and uh, that extends to Washington Accord. In other words, the graduates are uh, eligible to work as professional engineers in international uh, multinational corporations. The disciplines that we have selected all have very good employment opportunities globally and we have consulted local industry extensively in preparing our curriculum. So what we actually teach relates to real world examples. The examples we, we give the students for assignments and projects are related to industry. An example, our students design, manufacture a automobile, a racing car. The design, they use their principles that they study in mathematics and physics and they use computer-aided design tools and once they complete the design on the computer, many times they use uh, 3D printing and automated computer-aided manufacturing lathes to manufacture the parts. Our students working together interdisciplinary areas of engineering assemble the car. So a car has many components as you recognize electrical, mechanical and a variety of materials to be selected and used to make that a precision racing car. So these guys are actually learning research tools while they are undertaking undergraduate studies, working with other disciplines to manufacture a racing car. That is one example of a project that we give. Similarly, the course teaches them sustainable practices in engineering. Uh, Western Australia has areas of mining where there is no potable water, where there may not be any transportation infrastructure, telecommunications infrastructure, and when a mining company recruits our graduates in any discipline of engineering. The civil engineers are trained to develop the transport infrastructure in remote areas. The electrical engineers are trained to establish power generation units predominantly using renewable sources. Similarly, the electronics and communications engineers have the capability to establish telecommunication uh, access in remote areas of Western Australia. These are skills that are expected by industry because where the employer is recruiting them, there may not be senior engineers to give them that additional training or adapting to the work environment. So we take the responsibility of producing industry-ready graduates and that requires giving them exposure to equipment and facilities that are industry standard. Hence, all our teaching is centered around project-based learning and the projects actually require the students to use equipment that is industry standard. 
a, a large number of laboratories are also established in consultation with industry, many times sponsored by industry to maintain them at professional standard. An example is Snyder Electric Laboratory. That laboratory is multi-use. Professional engineers requiring professional development come to the laboratory and upgrade their skills with the infrastructure in that laboratory. We train our students in that infrastructure and hence when they leave the university they do not have to be retrained. That is just an example of how much emphasis we pay to training graduates who are industry ready and are aware of professional practices and they do not require any additional training. This requires us to maintain ultra modern cutting edge technologies in our laboratories. These are not just only teaching laboratories, these are now suitable for giving professional development to working engineers requiring upgrading the, of their skills. We also have huge research infrastructure. In every discipline, we have academic staff who have PhD qualifications. They are all research active. Some of our academics have won international research grants, competitive research grants. They all supervise PhD candidates in their respective disciplines. In the School of Engineering, currently we have 60 students undertaking research leading to doctoral degrees. Our undergraduate students undertake projects working with our research students. Hence, they are actually working in a research environment while they are undergraduate students. These are some of the examples that I can give as why our students have an advantage relative to many other institutions where many times they are segregated into School of Civil Engineering or Department of Mechanical Engineering and they only come in contact with other mechanical engineers or electrical engineers and so on. Whereas from first year to final year, in each year projects are undertaken together with students of other disciplines. A team consists of a civil engineer, mechanical engineer, electrical engineer, chemical engineer and they come up with solutions that advance requirements for the employer. Another example, desalination. It is no longer domain of any particular discipline. We need to use renewably generated energy to provide desalination. We need to use techniques that do not pollute the environment. Whatever we do in supporting the necessary infrastructure such as drinking water, electric power, bridges, accommodation which is which provides comfort both during winter and summer such as air conditioning and cooling all these must be undertaken in with the notation of keep maintaining the environment at the same time sustainable engineering practices so this is our attitude and hence we give our graduates an option to specialize in civil and environmental engineering, chemical and environmental engineering, electrical and renewable energy and I can go on giving examples of our web method of teaching engineering with focus on providing infrastructure and advanced technologies to remote and rural communities not only for cities. In terms of um, uh, course offerings, we have three year Bachelor of Technology degrees where they can go into industry, 
having spent only three years at a university and be employed as technologists. Or they can progress further by entering a two-year Master of Engineering, thereby in five years they are completing a Bachelor of Technology and a Master of Engineering in a discipline of their choice. In terms of awards, our motorsports racing dream continuously improves the design of automobiles and development of performance vehicles and they have won many international competitions in several categories of automobile design and improvements to racing vehicles. In terms of school facilities, because we are supporting 60 PhD candidates, the infrastructure available is not limited to undergraduate training. We established ultra-modern facilities in chemical engineering, civil engineering, petroleum engineering, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, they support uh, advanced research that advances technologies for industries. Students who study uh, our business and law courses have a wide variety of options and their careers uh, extend uh, right from business management, accounting, law, hospitality, tourism. It depends upon their uh, interest in those um, uh, fields. But what we actually do is we actually prepare those students to get those job opportunities by providing them uh, training in our state-of-the-art facilities, we provide them internship and work integrated learning opportunities, we have a careers fair which we organize for the students and we also invite industry experts to actually come and talk to the students and also give guest lectures thereby bringing industry experience into the classrooms, thereby giving the students that real life opportunity and we also give them opportunities in internship both in Australia and overseas also. For students who do not meet the entry requirement, diploma courses are available through Edith Cowan College or our other partner institutions. These recognised courses will offer a smooth transition into Edith Cowan University degree programmes. Um, the Bachelor of Engineering uh, condition of for graduation is that uh, they gain uh, three months work placement. Uh, so that uh, every graduate before graduating has to undertake uh, an internship in industry, uh, either in Australia or abroad. Uh, we are finding in recent years uh, our graduates uh, going to international destinations I can give examples of China, Vietnam and few other countries. Um, these uh, international inter internships uh, give, uh, give them much higher opportunity of uh, further employment because multinational corporations that recruit the, our graduates uh, do value uh, that uh, internships uh, abroad. We also have uh, work integrated learning uh, from first year to final year. Uh, wherever we undertake a, a project, uh, we integrate that project work as part of the studies.
job opportunities on the completion of the Bachelor of Science Nursing course here at ECU will be enhanced in the future because there's going to be an increased demand for nurses around 2020 because we've got a huge reduction in the amount of nurses that are likely to be working. It's estimated that we're going to have a shortfall of 85,000 nurses by this year. So our graduates at ECU are going to be in the best place to take these opportunities when they graduate uh, from the course. Yes, we do provide facilitation for students to find jobs. Uh, we organize a careers fair where we invite um, uh, industries um, and uh, well-known companies uh, in and around Western Australia and Perth to come and attend those fairs and the students have an opportunity to directly meet with them and discuss the various opportunities. Uh, as part of the work integrated learning where students do get an opportunity to go and sometimes visit the various industries or be placed at various organizations have opportunity to definitely uh, liaise with those uh, industries and get uh, job opportunities. Within the university we have a careers hub where they do provide assistance in terms of looking for employment and also in terms of preparing the candidates by virtue of their updating or upskilling their CVs and other resumes. Um, engineers find employment in Australia in many fields. Uh, Australia uh, produces um, uh, large amounts of uh, mineral resources, uh, agriculture resources, and there is a lot of processing of agriculture produce as well as uh, mineral resources. Uh, examples of um, uh, mining ore uh, to be processed and uh, exported um, we have um, uh, employment in the areas of um, uh, coal, uh, copper, gold, nickel, aluminium, uh, iron ore, uh, natural gas and oil, petroleum products. So our graduates find employment in those industries in the, also in the transportation industry. So they, the Western Australia, for example, is a vast uh, state. Uh, that we need um, uh, railway infrastructure or a transportation road infrastructure and uh, our graduates are finding jobs with uh, main roads um, and in terms of uh, providing telecommunication services uh, so the industry opportunities available for our graduates are vast and uh, they, the uh, construction of um, uh, buildings uh, infrastructure for mining uh, roads bridges so these are the areas where engineers are routinely employed. We also provide um, uh, opportunities for um, uh, employment to our Master of Engineering graduates uh, because they already have a bachelor's qualification and they develop advanced skills in their specialized area and uh, industry recruits them uh, in the leading roles. Opportunities for practical experience during the Bachelor of Science Nursing course includes a practical experience in a hospital or a GP surgery or a rural or remote area or in an aged care facility each semester of study. So by the time the students complete their three years they will have accumulated 840 hours of clinical practice and this will include uh, an aged care experience, um, acute medical or surgical experience, a speciality area, a rural or remote area experience and possibly an international experience before they graduate. ECU offers uh, international scholarships both at uh, undergraduate level and uh, master's level. Uh, we also have um, overseas partnership uh, scholarships for those students who study at our partnership um, institutions. Um, we also have um, uh, scholarships for those uh, who stay at our Mount Lolly campus. Uh, so this is uh, an uh, accommodation scholarship. We also have uh, early acceptances scholarships of uh, $1,000 uh, for those who accept their scholarships by the 30th of November. Uh, for the following year's admissions.
In the School of Business and Law, we offer our op uh, students the opportunity to undertake a mandatory work integrated learning um, unit as part of their undergraduate course. Uh, some of the uh, specialized courses like hospitality, hotel and tourism, they do have uh, professional internships, some of which are also paid. Uh, even in the postgraduate space, we do offer the students the opportunity to take work integrated learning and also internships in certain specialization of the postgraduate studies. The internships are offered both locally and internationally.